You guys on a radio? Do you have one? Uh, no, I bought one for Zulu. That's why I'm here. Right. Then I gotta go and get product. And today I want to sell. Any issues yeah, yeah, being up here? Up. Have you been here for a long time or? Uh, I've, I just got here. Apparently, Peanut pulled up again and robbed maybe um uh, like Z or someone earlier in NA. But I mean, what you know, it's CG, you know, whatever is what it is. Caught like other than that, now which washing machines are broken though. Yeah, I noticed. And the washing guy, machines, the guy down south the, is no longer there. I didn't, didn't see him. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff like that. It's like, oh my god, that that happened anyway. You know what I mean? Like it, we'll find the solution tomorrow or the next day. So whatever, we just do our thing. Uh, radio is 644.8. Well, yeah, when I have you guys here, you guys were down at the house yesterday with that shit that yeah, went yeah. down. Yeah. What, what did you get? Be honest to me. What do you guys feel? Be I honest. feel personally that, um, and, and then please take this with the utmost sincerity. I mm -hmm. feel that a lot of the time stuff has happened and OTT, right? hasn't created conflict and done a bad thing and is an evil mastermind that's throwing us into the sea. I think the OTT has often taken the choice though that is like caused more trouble. He hasn't started things. It's just when it comes to the resolution and discussion stage, um, like, you know, with that Fanny stuff, he, he kind of like picked the option that, you know, I think you said something, we got to stop thinking about tomorrow and start thinking about next week. He picked a decision that the reality is if Fanny and the besties won't let us clean money, we can't clean money in these hours because we can't compete with them in violence. We could beat them in a fight once or twice, but we're not going to beat them in a week or two weeks of constant violence. So why under any circumstances would we put ourselves in their firing line and then make it so we just can't claim money anymore? That That's that's really my thought. Like those type of decisions, I feel like are just, they create problems that we physically can't deal with. Like we, it's impossible for us to fight the besties for two weeks straight. We, we will lose more right. than we will win. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm the devil's advocate then, so what is, what should we do? Because we try to work with them and they rob that guy again. The, the only thing that we can do as the company, right? As with the morals and the philosophy we have is the, the stuff that Mickey tries to do, right? The diplomatic option, right? I don't know if you've ever played like a, like a grand strategy game or, you know, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I've multiple you know, games. like in, in like in the great wide world, you know, you know, in real life, we're with us now. And if you sit and play, like, not every company, uh, not every country even has a standing military force. You know what I mean? Like, the diplomatic solution is trade deals, you know, like, you know, backing. What the company needs if we want to not fight every week is we need to create ties with people where we make them money, real money, consistently, legally and illegally. So then they go, oh, yeah, we're not going to rob Sandy because we're getting... 250k a week from them in fucking war dividends permanently and it's like need leverage like but, as but as a the thing ahead. is though like sorry to interrupt you we had the deal i but, thought with sly and them with the washing they're buying the product i understood that the mickey deal where i heard about it as well like i heard it first time through sly and them because they talked to them uh to fan and ming and they talked about it so I spoke to Mickey about it and Mickey said, well, he never finalized that deal. I knew that like the material stuff was not on the table because I spoke to him already. So what deal did we have? Well, there was the, the only deal we had was the sly one, which was very, very low. It was literally just, Hey, we both clean money. We're not going to be openly aggressive and as well we will um trade washed to rolls but should we just buy down them you know what i mean like should we well should we step he... out of the fucking washing or or cleaning it on the street and just wash it and then sell it to them you know what i mean so just go away from the whole hazard of fucking dealing with that shit yeah the, the thing is is that if we wanted to fight full stop always and become a, an, an aggressor uh we could if we restructured everything and we turned everybody into aggressors, I think that we could do the aggressive, you know, play where no, no, no. it's but on site. Like I said, I want to be devil's advocate here because like, I, I think like there is not one solution to the problem you have. Okay. So let's say no. this, you know, like we try to avoid this because we cannot go into conflict, especially like 
I, I feel like we need to clear out our inner problems before we go out and find new problems, you know? That is my take yeah, on it. Exactly. But, but that, the thing yeah, is, exactly. like, okay, let's say this now. The biggest problem, biggest issue right now is to clean our money. All right? That's where we get robbed. It's the most fucking awful job to do, basically, when it comes to it. But at the same time, it's very exciting, you know? So should we stop cleaning it at all and just sell our money? You know what I mean? For the percentage we have, all of the money. We just wash it and we sell it. What happens then? Because if they're able to rob you when you're doing a run, wouldn't they be able to rob you when you're handing over $300,000 of cash? Yeah, yeah Like, definitely. what what, what would hold them back for doing that? The, the, the thing is, is that the kind of status quo that I felt like we we're in it is manageable right minimal losses and as long as we put the right people to do the negotiations we can kind of continue with people just like taking little bites we can like, that's fine that's business right it sucks and if we were able to deal with it we would but so far i have honestly felt like if we never escalated any of the problems that have happened to us as a whole our losses from just the initial bites have been minimal you know 10k here one gun there 21k mm -hmm. year like you know it's probably less than 100k per week we lose from opportunistic robbing which is in my eyes in our position manageable but the thing is if we were a different type of organization it would be all guns blazing roll out don't touch yeah, my yeah, boy yeah. or you're gonna get the heat so it's what? like I, I feel like we just need more time without crazy decisions being made that upset the, the balance that is already mm -hmm. so fragile so okay. fragile what do you think zulu you okay. were there yesterday as well. You listened to like a little bit of it, so, you know, like. From my point of view, I think the biggest issue is the identity of the company because there seems to be some divide between the people within the company. Because some are unsure, are we a gang? Are we an organization? Are we, what, what are we? Like, it, it's not mm -hmm. clear for a lot of people. Yep. And this is including for, for me. Like, I mean, when we get through that situation of conflict, what am I supposed to do? Like, I physically do not know what we are supposed to do. For example, yesterday when you guys got arrested in CAF, what am I supposed to do? I, 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 am, am I going in and fucking beating the shit out of the cop? Yeah. Or because we are, a, you know, a more, a more of a formal gang, if you put that in quotes, a criminal organization, we, we just leave it and hand it professionally. And then... I don't know. I, th I think that is the biggest problem. There's a big divide of what the people understand and what they actually want. Now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I understand where OTT is coming from because he, he he's tired of us, you know, just lying down and taking it in the back. Because he, he, I understand it. However, like, I understand the other point of view as well because, I mean, we are not a gang. We are not supposed to, you know, fucking lose our shit. When something like that happens but where are we going to draw the line where when are yeah. we going to say this is fucking enough now so it, I, I don't know it, I, I think we need to it, the, the company needs to establish its identity first of what are we and everyone needs to be on the same page yeah but that is a hard thing you know because we have a lot of new faces old faces mm -hmm. like i've been a part of this for a long time you know so i have some history of what we can do but at the same time, like you said, you know, like with the with the shit we did yesterday with the with the bank, you know what I mean? Like, I want you guys to experience that because when you experience, you understand what you can do in the future when you yeah. end up in the same situation. And the best way of doing it is to experience it. You know, like I saw him on the ground. I tried to save him. I get arrested. I think it's fine. You guys just left. But at the same time, if you're planning to do something, you need to do it quick before they organize. You know what I mean? Like you need to think on the fly. And to be able to do and be able to like you know turn the coin directly you need to be in it experience it and be ready next time yeah. you know when shit happens you're able to think like quick you know what i mean and you so, need to act quick the thing is like in that situation my initial thought was to get another hostage what 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 but mm -hmm. I, I i knew the cops i mean as soon as you bring another hostage as soon as you drive away they will shoot you down that, that kind of... but the, the my main question is what am I actually supposed to do? Because I know what a gang member would do. You, 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 you see where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, I, like, I, I see where you come from. 
Because in, in, that in, is in, the any conflict we have, like what do we actually do? Are we supposed to fight back? Are we supposed to fucking go get our shit back? What are we supposed to do? We don't know. My understanding is this, like like for me, I don't care if you fight back or don't fight back. But we need to do it smart. And I feel like every time we end up in some shit is like we're choosing the like utmost wrong decision ever, you know what I mean? I, I understand OTT as well, wanting to stand his ground, but at the same time, you're standing your ground at the wrong point. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you choose yeah. to point a gun at somebody, all right? What will happen then? You know what will happen. Like, you live that life. You know, like, if you threaten somebody in a fucking gang, you will have the whole gang, you know, on your front porch, you know, trying to kill you. Like, you know that will happen. So it's kind of like... From my understanding is like if somebody get robbed what we try to do first is have a civil discussion to try to get our shit back if you're not able to do that you know we get people if we choose to go that way and we try to get our get back an eye for an eye that is yeah, yeah. what i understand but i feel like I, sometimes we get a better of ourselves you know we act on emotion and we do something irrational and it bites us more in the ass than the actual you know what happened you know him getting robbed you can feel some type of way of that. You can feel like, okay, yeah, they're robbing company people. But I think everybody get robbed. You know what I mean? That is not the issue. The issue that will be laughable is what happened after, you know? That is what people talk about. Because it ended up stupid. Yeah. It, it, it's the same like if people roll up on you with guns, you know what I mean? Put your hands up. You know what I mean? Like, let them do the thing. We try to figure it out. You know, the the diplomatic solution if that does work we can choose to go different means but then we need to be ready for that different means and that is like my point from it all my my feeling kj and zulu is um there's always going to be like losses and gains right and no decisions ever yeah. going to be perfect but every time kj and like you know like every time that you and i have had to deal with this stuff i have felt like we have walked away with either net neutral or net positive every time that it's been you and i talking specifically yes, as well we with never the get any shit back you know what i mean like they got away with the robbery of a person and we got nothing returned only that we can continue doing our shit without feeling yeah. like we need to look behind but our like, shoulders remember when um you know when we were number one turf and we had you know forehead loading the gun like you know he was pressing every day but it was mm -hmm. like you responded in kind and from mm -hmm. my perspective, there was almost like a mutual respect there. We're sure we could have pulled out six guns and wiped them up in Sandy that day and got our get, you know, you know, laid it down. And yeah, and if he wants, he could come to Sandy every day and rub people as well. You know, like it goes both ways. He can come up yeah. here with six people and rub people. And it's like, I feel like that we've handled the situations by like deflecting and maintaining a balance with obviously us on the receiving end of a lot of shit. But I mean, everybody gets robbed in the city. And we just aren't in a place where we can physically declare you know we're not in a place where we can so go my down question to the to south you guys, side and... where do you guys want to be though do you guys want us to try to practice a little bit more towards that end of if we get pressed we press back i just feel like some people in the way that it is now it's just it, it, it's not possible I, I don't think that we can contest money cleaning with the besties and even potentially hydra who are now trying to no, do no, it no. Like, like, we, we can't I... fight Come on, like I so, said yesterday in the meeting as well, like I wanted to be there to talk to Ming and Fanny because I want to figure out if like Hydra coming in here is something they agree on because they, if they agree on it, they work together, you know? That was my thought, yeah. you know what I mean? Because if somebody's trying to hold down some shit, they don't let people jump in on the stuff they're doing, you know? There will be a conflict. But if there is no yeah. conflict, they agree, you know, to work together. You see what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a pretty obvious I thing. My, my thing, I'm down for us to be more violent and responsive and snap back, but... We're not prepared for you know, that now, yet. We're not ready for yeah, it yet. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm down for that the minute that we can take it and say, listen, we, we might fight for five straight days, but on the sixth day, once Monday comes, it'll still be okay, even if there's people, like, we're still enemies. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as we're in a position when, no matter how bad it gets, we can bounce back and not lose control of something we need, I'm down. But right mm -hmm. now, money cleaning is everything. If we can't clean money, we can't sell weed. And if we can't do those two things, all of us are out of a, a job. I have to go and tow. So, yeah, no, I see what you mean. 
the minute mm. that we have the people to fight and the and the and the backing and like the money and the guns, I'm down, bro. Like we, I'm, I'm not anybody. I know I'm not gonna be bitch made Sandy Man forever, but like we, we've never had the opportunity where it makes logical sense long term for us to get in si six cars right now and go and rob Fanny doing money runs. Like that, that's it's never made sense yet for us to do that because it is mm -hmm. gonna result in us coming out fucked. Yeah, we'll be even more fucked. You know that is my like. Trust me, like, I, I love every single one of the people who are here, and I think everybody adds a value to what we're doing, but when it comes down to the level of, if you look at Hydra, if you look at Besties, like, they are, they're trained killers, you know what I mean? They operate as a fucking gang gang unit. They roll around in four and six, you know, all the time. It's a different mentality, yeah. you know, of how you do business. And to become that, you need to kind of, like, go into that a little bit deeper, you know, on a daily basis yeah and, and you know like we need to start doing more petty crimes and you know just doing like i need i honestly like i was thinking it's like i told you i wanted to start driving with kj it's like man mm -hmm. i want to go down and just like start a cop chase but it just doesn't it doesn't make sense you know what i mean like it's, no 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 you can't it you can't it, it feels like it feels like putting myself in situations to kind of get the experience we need it's just so contradictory to everything we've just done. Just drive by yourself, steal a car and just drive around uh, a little bit reckless to try to figure out some routes. And if, you yeah. know, some motherfucker see you and try to follow you, then you have your thing, you know, but don't. Yeah. Don't and antagonize like, I, I, them I, I to do follow that. you, if that makes sense. Yeah, I do that. But I think that's like an image of like a greater picture where it's like, if we want to live the life where we can go in and do anything and never be startled, always know what to do. We need to start acting like it. But. The minute that we get too big for our boots right now, we are going to get clapped on, fucked on, dumped on because we just can't actually back it up long term. The best we could hope for is a one-time skirmish, you know, 6v6, and we t beat somebody and take a couple of guns. But we're never going to win that 6v6 because the next day we might not even have six people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're not we're not ready for it. The, the company isn't capable of doing that. Then again, it, I feel not. like we lose our whole identity of what, like, came out of the company yeah, in the first it, place as well. It, it, exactly. So it's, exactly, uh, right. And it's like... It, it, the, the board I don't know, really it's hard, you like... know, because you try to balance everything. Because I don't want people to get shot and I try to find solutions, you know what I mean? Long-term solution to uh, an issue we have. But at the same time, it's, it's rough because you're trying to do stuff, but people... Other people out there don't respect like kind of like the bond you're trying to build over time, if that makes sense. The, the, then the again, one thing I don't know, I've... you know, I don't know how it would go if I went there and spoke to them, you know, maybe we got the money back, maybe not, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we could figure well, out well, something, I but... I, I feel like the only thing we have is our respect, like how you and I have acted and Zulu, the, the, the relationships that we've built with people is all we have to negotiate with, right? Like, Fanny and Ming, I think, have been amicable with you and I. Just you and I, only. Yeah, like, but Ming then didn't again, have like, to give me those things back. To be honest, though, they but, don't give a fuck if somebody close to us get robbed. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, exactly, like they, right? like, they, it does, they it don't give a fuck about that. So, anyone. even exactly. if they have a good relation with you, but still, you know, they, they fuck over Zulu or, or Zulu every day. You know what I mean? Like, they, that means they don't respect you at all. You know what I mean? Like, I, the, the thing is, like, I'm going to be, like, perfectly honest. If mm -hmm. I'd been around the city for 10 years and I had the reputation of someone like Benji and the relationships with these people, I think it would extend. But my respect is given to me. To a certain and just point. Me, I, I just feel like, like, what am I going to do if you rob my friend? I, I can't do anything even if I wanted to. No, but what am I going to do? Like, Mike, to be honest with you, because you have a relation with somebody, doesn't mean that all your friends should be avoided of getting anything from these people. But at the same time, when people know that you have something going on, for example, when we deliver money and people come up here and rob your ass, you know what I mean? For me, that yeah, is yeah. that is basically I mean, they don't give a fuck. Because yeah, I know. I mean, it's dumb as bricks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they respect you on a certain level, but they don't respect you enough for having their friends robbing you. You see what I mean? So yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like a double-edged sword but you, you need to yeah balance it somehow and figure out the way to do it I, I i think at the end all of that just circles back to the fact that we have no bark and we also have no financial incentive to give someone that we could take away so even if someone's my friend they can go and rob my other friends and as a group we're never going to do anything back and if we do we're going to lose more than likely 
and then the cycle repeats because there's no there's no there's no like pillar that creates some type of like immovable object we have no financial gain and we have no violence and like respect through that so we're just going to keep getting stepped on and I, I just feel like we just have to until we're at the point where we can have one of those two things, you know? Mm -hmm. Respect with violence or respect with the fact that, oh, bro, we make a million a week from these fuckers. Don't rob them or they will take it away. Like, it's one of the two. It's the only way. And I don't think we really have the capacity it's a gag as with recovery. Farmer, yeah, and even but Size it's... Boys and Perez. You don't take to be subsided. That, There's a different way we're of doing gang. doing everything else we do to maintain all of these things. I think that has to come from the board. Like, they have to either create violence that people won't fuck with or create mm -hmm. million dollar deals that people are too scared to lose because we, we don't have the time like we don't it's going to take us so long to get to where we can do either of those things that, that's my honest opinion yeah that's what i'm scared about as well you know because if we step out of cleaning our own shit and we need to go through other entities we can maybe make a good deal where we tunneling a lot of money and it's a lot of fucking money for them as well you know but then again it will come down to you get compl complacent and some It'll people look the wrong fucking way at the wrong guy and another fucking crew and suddenly they come and uh you try to do a handoff of certain type of money and the money's gone yeah i, I just think that... they're capable of doing that you know that is the thing no, they like... are. one sec miss atlas I was, like, I was um, just gonna ask if you knew if anyone else was up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got Misha here, and yeah. we'll all be up what, what is the radio we're on? Uh, yeah, it is well. six, six double four point eight. Okay, do you know where people are? Uh, just go Chaos Legion, you'll be on your own for a sec. I'll tell Misha. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, I go and uh, re up and we can push as well. I want to push, so. But, um, um, it, it's good I, to I get some that... input, you know what I mean? Like, because. Yeah, short term right since we can't create those things that we need short term the biggest problem is any deals that we make are probably going to get voided by someone that's doing something while we're all asleep because that's how it's been so far like other than me getting robbed we have literally the, the our group has had no like problems like all of the other problems have been other people and it's not to say that everybody else is fucking up and we aren't but it's like we haven't yeah, but I haven't felt the need. The thing is, yeah, that, that doesn't really matter. Like it doesn't need it is no point of blaming A, B, or no, no, it's C. Not blame. It's, it's not blame. It's not blame. Yeah, the, the, yeah. yeah, but is the thing is it's one entity. The thing is yeah, at the I moment know, know. It, it, the company is laying down flat flat in the mud on their fucking bed. How do we as 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 a unified entity get back on our feet? It, it, we need to figure this out. And I'm, I'm a bit the, like uh, the thing that we need, like I think in, in, in complete and total honesty, is we need the PMs around way more for at least like two, three weeks to a month to just really like lock in because... Lock we, into we, the sorry, what? The PM. So we need like, you know, Benji, uh, you know, OTT, Ray and Mickey around like more into these hours. Yeah, but so that will not happen, like, you know? Yeah, I know, I know it won't. I, I know it won't. And it's a huge problem because what happens uh. is there's a time lag between things and then there's responsibility drifting to just one person and OTT is dealing with all of it on his back and sure he maybe has made some choices I wouldn't make but it's like it's a lot of responsibility and he's not free to act in a way that suits him and Ray and Benji and, and like aren't here you know like we, we don't have these big dogs to back up our other big dog so it's just this like we're falling downwards again and again like a like a fucking pendulum bro you know everybody's awake we're doing okay when the OTT is awake and the, the farmer boys getting robbed, something bad happens. You know, it just swings back and forth, back and forth. Like, we, we need like two weeks of unified, locked the fuck in, everybody's on. But it just won't happen. Yeah, but you unified, find locked in problem. on what? Like, because... Everything, everything. Like, company meetings with every board member there in both waves, where we sit down and answer the questions that we are answering. You know, everybody's locked in and awake so that when something like ott happens ray and benji and all the fucking boys you know perez like all these big dogs right who can actually deal with this shit are there to like answer then and there not ott in his house with fucking sly and kane by himself like i feel like we need to like change the image and it's not on us to do that right it's not on me like mike can't change the image of the company it has to be further up because it's like you know if we create a deal and we make you know a, a deal with someone as farmer as, as the company farmer 
and we're doing a million a week. Yo, Miro, thanks and so much for 60. Someone man. else later on, 60, even though it's fine, we're all one company, they do something, and then we get robbed because someone antagonized. Like, it's. I just feel like we're trying to. Like, the sand slipping through our fingers, you know what I mean? Like, we just can't. Okay, do okay. It. So, if somebody gets robbed, what is your solution? I mean, short term, I would like the, the way we have to do it is just the way that you have kind of like showed me, where it's like we go and talk about it amicably you know we don't start violence then and there we depart yeah, and we let's say you talk, talk about, about it, it you know and they are not willing to do anything with it if they're not willing then, to do anything with it and they ask they they tell me we're going to come up and rob you after this all we can do is like stack up uh, six people and get the guns out and, and try and fight but i'm gonna be honest i still have not shot a fucking gun you know what i'm saying like i still have not shot one fucking bullet out of one gun we have eight in the house i haven't even had the opportunity to respond to that because it always happens when I'm not around or we're not around all of us or other people are there doing it for so us. So basically the issue is not with the, like up here like people haven't come here tried to ignite it happened once I went to talk to them and it didn't happen afterwards. I asked yeah. for getting the fucking weed back we would never got it back but then again you know it was kind of like you you know what I mean like it, it's I go there to talk to kind of like try to let them or tell them to stop doing it but at the same time i'm not getting anything back from what happened you know what i mean and i kind of like need to agree on you rob my guy i cannot do anything to you because kind of like company policy you know what i mean and yeah and you got away with whatever and that kind of like give you the signal of i will probably do this in the future as well but then again we haven't got robbed afterwards so it seems like it worked you know okay it was a small price to pay for a bigger, you know, reason for us to be able to push here for the next month. Yeah. So, I... it depends on how you look at it from what angle, I guess. Yeah, I, I see where you're coming from.